Yeah, I can't stand it when places be trying to be stingy with the sauce. Like, first of all, if I order like six patties, don't give me two sauces. Like, give me a sauce for each patty. Like, really, I'm being nice because really, I really want two sauces for each patty. You know? But I'm gonna just be like, okay, just a normal person, a person that's not all saucy like me, whatever, because I do be liking a little extra sauce. Just, you know, don't give me two for six. Like, dog, come on. Tell me what it's called first. Yeah. What is this? It's fruit? Yeah. What kind it's... of fruit? It's jackfruit? No, it's color orange. It's a color yellow. Color yellow? Yes. Orange. What kind of fruit is that? That's jackfruit. Yeah, fruit. Good job. Mm, delicious. Hey, y'all. So I got some jackfruit. Mm. This is fresh jackfruit. Fresh jackfruit is meant to be eaten just like this. It's not really meant to be cooked. So a lot of people will see like um, vegan, like pulled pork and stuff. You don't use this jackfruit for this. Use that, use the um, one in the can. And I actually bought some today and I left it at the freaking store. This is an example of what pulled jackfruit will look like. It's the barbecue pulled pork looking thing on top of these vegan nachos that I made. It's cheap, whatever. Um, but I love jackfruit. Like, I love it. I love the cooked version. I love the sweet, like, you know, fruit one. Um, this is what it looks like. Let me peel off another piece for y'all. So it's very easy to peel. I'm going to show you how to peel it. Like okay. this. Yeah. Mm. And then in most pieces, there's going to be a seed. This is a seed. It'll be like right here like that. And you just take it out, throw it away, and you just eat it. It tastes like, um, mm, mm, I don't know how to try to taste really. It's like a mix between pineapple and banana. But also the sweeter it gets, like right now, this is not the sweetest. If I leave it out, outside of the fridge it'll get sweeter but i can only leave it outside the fridge for a few hours or like not really like a whole day like half of a day or almost a whole day because it'll mold easily jackfruit is so good for you it has vitamin e which is really good for your uh, for your skin and like cell regeneration jackfruit is really good for your hair skin and nails and it has um it has great digestive enzymes and properties for um, digestive properties for you to help you like digest your food better. So like you can eat it after you eat a meal, or like if you have a stomach ache, you can eat it, it uh, more so when it's like really sweet. Eat it when it's really sweet. If you're if you have like a stomach ache, and like boil some ginger, have it with some ginger or something. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm um. There's like a lot of good fiber in here. Keep you regular. Jackfruit is so good, y'all. Now the one in the can. It won't be yellow. It'll be like white. And you can, um, you can, um, you cook that. Like to make like a pulled pork or something like that. I actually made some today. I made some today for some nachos. It was so good. Right, we have a non-vegan person, a person that loves meat and cheese, extra cheese, if you will. Um, about to try the vegan nachos. What about the cheese? I know you love cheese. This is plant-based no, vegan cheese. Dairy cheese? No, it's not dairy. No, you, 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 what if I told you 
that cheese was based off of sweet potatoes, yellow potatoes, and carrots? No. For real, it is. This is delicious. Mmm. <laughs> no, for real, you like it? It's really good. One to ten, be honest. Mmm. Like three and a half. No, I'm playing. Is it ten? <laughs> I'll give it a ten. Okay. I'll cool. eat this. I'll buy this. Cool. Cool. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? So, fun fact about me, I am vegan. I have been vegan for four years, a little bit over four years. Um, let's see, what made me go vegan? Well, to be honest, I watched this documentary. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have heard about it. It's called What the Health. And um, I remember I was watching it on like 4th of July or something after I just ate so much non-vegan food. <laughs> and I was completely grossed out. I really was. I was completely disgusted, to say the least. Not only disgusted, but I felt like, I know a lot of people don't really care about like animal cruelty, stuff like that, but I felt really bad. Like I felt really bad. And um, yeah, and then also I think at the time I was breastfeeding my oldest um, at the time. And so there was like a segment in there talking about like how basically the toxins and things of that nature from dairy can actually go into your breast milk. And so I was just like, I... For my kids, absolutely not. Like, I don't play that. So, I stopped, like, that day. Like, the next day, I just ate beans and rice and fruit <laughs> because I didn't even know what to eat. I just knew for sure that I didn't want any kind of animal products whatsoever. And so, from there, I just started, like, researching. I just started looking on YouTube and, like, um... As far as like going out to eat and stuff, I would just Google like, does this place have vegan options? And I would look at their menu and I would look at their, um, I would look at their, what do you call it? Like a allergen list. And I would see if it contains dairy or, you know, eggs or anything like that. And surprisingly, there's so many places that, that have vegan options. You know, there's places like you can go to TGI Fridays and you can go get a vegan burger. So you can go out with your friends. So um, this next clip I'm about to play for you is just a little haul, mini haul, that stuff that I get for my kids. You know, snacks and stuff. Like if I'm just on a quick trip to the grocery store, I just have to kind of re-up on snacks and stuff like that. Both of my kids are vegan. My four-year-old, he's been vegan since birth before I even knew what vegan was. Just because I knew in my mind I didn't, I wasn't ready to give him any kind of dairy or anything like that. And by the time he was one before he was one he was mainly he wasn't eating like i didn't give him no meat or anything like that because i wasn't ready and he was mainly getting nutrition for me through breast milk and then by the time i was pregnant with my second who's now two and a half i was already vegan so i had a vegan pregnancy with her and it was awesome i'll talk about that more later but yeah so both my kids are vegan this is going to be just little um Quick, like, little vegan haul thing. Like, you know, little things that you can get for your kids if you guys are interested. All right. Y'all, this is going to be a little haul on things that I get for my kids. Um, first, let's get into these two books that I published myself. This is my first book I published, Our Homework with a Midwife. This is the um, first book actually published in the U.S. to ever feature a black family having a home birth or midwifery care. Oh, I was just... That's um, available on Amazon and then I have Hi, okay hold on Bobby then I have this book Welcome to Haiti mm -hmm. this is another children's mm -hmm. book that I published also available on Amazon so make sure you go and cop that well my four year old just ran off with the Daddy. grapes but um mm -hmm. yeah so I got some grapes mm -hmm. and then and then Melanie's Melanie wants some cookies or seaweed so my kids really love these cookie, cookie. unfortunately I bought this one. hold on baby Okay, so they want these cookies. Unfortunately, I bought these from Amazon. I mean, not Amazon. Uh, Whole Foods. And they're more expensive than Whole Foods. Um, and my kids just <laughs> ran off with the cookies. So I'm going to just attach the, a picture of the cookie that I bought. Anyways, these are much cheaper if you go to like an Asian store. You can get like a really big pack for like five or six bucks. This six pack was like four bucks. When I could have got like a 12 pack for that price or around that price. Anyways, they really love these. Um, I was being lazy. I don't feel like cutting watermelon, so I got just a free cut. I don't really recommend doing that unless you're just on the go, which I was today. I got some limes. Okay, we recovered the cookies. 
Um, I got some limes. I'm going to probably make some limeade. Maybe mix it with some um, tamarind and sweeten it with pure cane sugar or some maple syrup or something like that. We got some um, cookies. These are vegan. You can find these at um, oh, I'm sorry, Kroger. This is their back to nature. No, this is no, this is actually not their brand. You can find this at Whole Foods too. Um, this is the Kroger brand that I like. Simply Truth Organic. Um, these are really good. Um, they're vegan. I don't. Kids don't eat a whole bunch of cereal, but when they do, I typically get like you know a better brand. And even if they do eat cereal, they have to eat something with it for breakfast. Like, I won't just give them cereal for breakfast. They have to have a smoothie and some fruit or, like, some toast or something on the side. So, um, yeah, this is a cereal here. And then I'm also always very particular about the ingredient list. So, just check the ingredient list. Make sure there's nothing, like, no artificial flavorings, um, colors, dyes, um, and things of that nature. And then... These are like corn puffs. These are like kind of like Cheetos. Um, hold on, puppy. Um, again, I'm very big on ingredients. The ingredients are great on here. Okay, we got some. Um, these are like basically they're like wheat thins. These are good thins. I really like um these for me and the kids. Um, the ingredients are great. And they're made with, um, the first ingredient is whole grain brown rice flour. And then we got some regular wheat thins that I'm mainly really going to eat myself, but I let the kids eat them too. Um, the ingredients on these are good as well, so. And that's that. Hey guys, so this is our medicine cabinet. Um, our medicine cabinet is in our kitchen because it's like all plant-based stuff, herbs, essential oils, things of that nature. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys um, the vitamins that I give my kids. Um, no, maybe you just have vitamins. So I buy these, I buy this on Amazon. They are vegan. Come here. They are vegan. I buy them off of Amazon. They're inexpensive. I mean, they're going to be more expensive than like your, you know, typical like cheap Flintstones or whatever. But anyways, I really like them because they have omega threes. They're gummies. I used to not really be a fan of gummies. I used to give the kids um chewables, but then they stopped liking, liking those. So, anyways, one a few things I like about these is that they are um they don't have any artificial <laughs> colors or dyes. They don't have any artificial. Okay, hold on. These are sour soft leaves, by the way. They don't have any artificial colors or dyes. Here. That's it. You're welcome. You hide it. And then also, I'm gonna flip over the label so that you can see that it's um. Uh, this is what they look like. No, mommy already gave you one. No, Anthony. Um, if you flip it over, where it says folate, it's real methylated folate, which is key to uh, vitamins, especially for your children. Um. You want to make sure it's real folate, not folic acid. Folic acid is the synthetic version of it is the um synthetic version of folate. Sorry. No. Kids are fighting. Um, so you want to just be sure that um you're looking for that when you're purchasing vitamins. Anyway, this is what they look like. Smarty pants. No, no, no. These are the it's not vegetarian, but they're vegan. No. Nope. No artificial colors, dyes, sweeteners, <laughs> things that nature. Hey guys. So I'm out here um looking at these purple potatoes and sweet potatoes that I should have been dug up. Yeah, so I really gotta get that up. Um I'm hoping that they're even still still good. Oh look, there's a little potato flower. Let me see if y'all can see that. See that? So yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll like, call a friend over and, <laughs> you know, ask her to help me um, dig this up. Hopefully, they're still good. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching this video. This was just, like, really an introduction. Like, I only did, like, an introduction to the vitamins. And, like, you know, I shared, like, a little fruit, the jackfruit with you guys. But I am going to be um, making videos more in detail. Especially if, uh, about, like, you know, what I feed the kids and what my family eats and, like what i eat on a daily basis like right now i'm eating a piece of 
toast, like for a snack. Um, the brand, I'll leave the brand of the bread below. And also the cookie butter. The cookie butter is vegan. I mean, it does have a lot of sugar and stuff in it, but <laughs> it's so good, y'all. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and I'm just, we're just out here grounding right now. Shoes off. The sun is up in the grass. I would show y'all the kids, but the kids don't have on clothes. They just, so yeah, free and wild. All right, guys, thanks.